It's been one week since the deadly and devastating flooding in western Connecticut. Hundreds of residents in several towns are now navigating the long and costly road to rebuild, while their neighbors are stepping in to help in every way they can. Childhood home was like practically washed away. The community tennis courts that I played endless hours of tennis on were absolutely gone. Places that hold dear memories like homes, roads, parks, even entire neighborhoods still left ravaged one week after the unprecedented downpours and flooding. Born and raised in Southbury, Erin Schumacher says she couldn't sit back and watch. I have to do something. So she set up a community food drive to help stock shelves at the Southbury Food Bank and partnered with Savior Scissors Salon to collect clothing for those in need. The drive was held at the Southbury Green from 10 to 2, and in just a few hours, thousands of items were donated. We actually had an industrial-sized election bin in ShopRite that's been emptied twice, and so far we have over, I think, 1,500 items donated so far, and we just got started five minutes ago. The unexpected big turnout brought cans of food, paper towels, cereal, applesauce, chips, and filling bag after bag, and also filling Schumacher's heart. Absolutely remarkable. Like, <laughs> Sorry, I get choked out. I've had people, like, I don't even know, approach me when I go into the grocery store or walk downtown, and they're like, I know what you're doing. How can I help? How can I help? Um, and it just is absolutely tremendous to know that, like, we can create such an impact on not only our community, but all of the communities that are affected. A very successful drive, and all of those items were delivered to the Southbury Food Bank this afternoon. Anyone in need can head there for help. Well, enough.